Is traveling in time possible? I think so, but let's find out. We all travel in time. We travel one year in time between our birthdays, for example, and we are all traveling in time at approximately the same speed, one second per second. But hey, that's just normal stuff. Let's talk about some real stuff. The ability to travel through time, whether it is to fix a mistake in the past or gain insight into the future, has long been embraced by science fiction and debated by theoretical physicists. Like, even after so many years, Back to the Future is still a huge thing. So now, what if I tell you that time travel is possible? That also theoretically, but there's a negative point to it. The whole concept of traveling to the past, correcting your mistakes, and anything in general, well, that's not possible. I mean, the idea of traveling to the past is not possible, and actually there's a proper explanation to it. Traveling to the past can create infinite possibilities and infinite outcomes from the moment we go back in time. The reason is that traveling back in time can create so many paradoxes. Now, what are paradoxes? You ask me, well, these are some complicated, mind-boggling stuff. And in order to explain it in a much better way, I will use an example. Now, assume a scientist made a time machine and he traveled back in time, and for some reason, he shot himself his past self. Now, if you think he was going to make a time machine in the future, now he is dead. So who is going to make the, now who made the time machine? And if he is dead, who will come back in time to kill him? It just creates many questions that no one can answer. And this situation is called a paradox. And whatever I have stated is the actually called the grandfather paradox. Now, I know some of you are confused, but still are oddly shocked by how beautiful science can be. Another thing to further prove my point is that we hear a phrase that everything happens for a reason. Now just think you messed up with your girlfriend and you wanna go correct it. So you go back in time and do it also creates a paradox that you never did a mistake in the first place after it's corrected. So what was your motive to come back in time? Hence, many believe that due to this traveling in time is not possible. Even Stephen Hawking believed that the poor guy even arranged a party to invite his future scientists, but no one came. Well, I guess I'm not alone. That was all for the past. But what if I tell you that traveling to the future is actually possible? That also, theoretically, because no one has actually done it, but yes, it's possible. And for that, the best example is Captain America. We all know Cap is the best Avenger, and we also know that he actually got frozen in the ice, and due to that ice, he survived decades and eventually came out in the future. Now you guys must be thinking that I'm kidding, but actually no. The thing that Captain America did is actually possible, but instead of freezing in the ice, we freeze in time. Interesting, right? So how can we freeze in time? Well, this is explained by Einstein's special relativity. Einstein was the first to realize that time is not constant, as previously believed, but instead slows down as you move faster through space. As part of his theory, Einstein re-envisioned space itself. He coined the phrase space-time, fusing the three dimension of space and one dimension of time into a single term. Instead of treating space as a flat and rigid place that holds all the objects in the universe, Einstein thought of it as a curved and malleable and able to form gravitational dips around masses that pull other objects in, just as a bowling ball placed in the center of a trampoline would cause any smaller object placed on the trampoline to slide towards the center. The closer an object gets to the center of the dip, the faster it accelerates. The center of the Earth's gravitational dip is located at the Earth's core, where gravitational acceleration is the strongest. According to Einstein's theory, because time moves more slowly as you move faster through space, the closer an object is to the center of the Earth, the slower time moves for that object. Which is actually something that shocked me. Another cool reason to love science. For a proper example of this, you can consider the GPS satellites. The clock on the satellite gains an average of 38 microseconds every day. Yes, how cool is that? And to neutralize it, we have supercomputers on it, but still, if they weren't, the satellites would have been long gone. So yeah, in this way, we can travel to the future. Like if we use a train in space that can travel at a speed closer to the speed of light, the people on the train would experience time dilation. And although for them, when the train is running, only a day might have passed, a year might have passed on Earth. There, you have it. Time travel, but in theory, because right now, we don't have the resources or the technology to make this possible because gaining that much speed requires so much stuff to think about and overcome. That's it. 
Not possible as of right now. Also, who would want to go to the future when you know you can't come back to the past? I mean, that would just be sad. So that's it for today's video. Let us know what the most interesting thing about time travel is in your opinion in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.